Welcome to Chewing the Curve with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said, yes, you can rhyme any name with the name game, but only if it's monosyllabic. Oh, hello, and welcome to Chewing the Curve. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Just lots of sexy talk this week. Celebrities talking sexy. Sexy things and sexy things. Talking sexy. Talking sexy. Talking about their sex lives. All right, not like OnlyFans sexy. No. No. Oh. What makes them sexy? What turns them on? Oh. Gets them off. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. On screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us and getting us off. It's at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us, thecud.tv for our website, and on YouTube and podcast services. Look for Chewing The Could and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have commented on any of our social media posts scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the buzz. Just scratching my trunk. Just scratching your trunk. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about a job to start with. Are we? Because, yeah. Because, you know, at the moment I'm in between jobs. Yes, you are. Yes, um, You're having a rest. I thought you said semi erect then. Oh. Like, not oh, well, quite yet. Always, isn't well, it? Um, so I've been I've been scouring the market for for new things I could possibly be doing. Okay. And I found something that I thought maybe would be a great career choice for you. Okay. Okay. Um, because you like a zoo. I do like a zoo. Do you like a zoo. I do. I do like to to look at the animals. Yeah. And and I'm sure you want to help out a, a zoo where you could. Um. Y you know, not, not shoveling mucky no, stuff. No, no, like, like, mainly putting wigs on animals, earrings, that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, being like around with the people, but not having to interact with the people. Yeah, I don't like people. No, no, you don't. No. Well, Blackpool Zoo have got an opening just for you. Have they indeed? Ooh. Well, anyone can apply, but I thought about specifically. Oh, okay. Um, and this is to scare away seagulls by wearing a giant parrot costume. That's not a parrot, Mike. Not parrot. Um, that, that's that's an eagle. Eagle. It's a similar thing to a. I don't work at a zoo. <laughs> this is just adding on to your your expertise in the the zoological area. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. So dress up as an eagle and scare seagulls away. What well, and how how might that happen? What is what? the job description for this? What do you mean? How might that happen? How do you scare them? You're wearing a giant <laughs> off inflatable suit. That'd scare a seagull away. Well, do you just stand there or do you have to, like, have to physically make move? Yeah, so they, thought, they said that looking for someone outgoing and energetic. Oh, that's not me then. <laughs> that, that is crossed off I'm the... Sure, I'm sure if they put you on a mobility scooter... Oh, well, that's a different, that's a different <laughs> kettle of fish. Because that would be even scarier. Yeah. For seagulls. <laughs> this is it, is bird it, is on a mobility it, seat. Is it a paid job? It is a paid job. Oh. Do, oh, do oh. we know how much? <laughs> not a lot. Oh, Okay. I mean, yeah. the money th side of things isn't, I'm not that, you know, they'd have to kind of throw in like, like the keys to all the cages so that I could just like go in and like. I, I, that would be a bad idea. We're giving you the keys to all the cages. What's happened to Lee? With the lions and a lipstick. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> lions and a lipstick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I, uh, yeah, why do they, well, Blackpool is by the sea. It's by the sea, and what happens is when they put the food out for the animals, the yes. seagulls come and... Mm, but just... also, when you're, like, having a, having a, having a picnic... Sorry, you know, you're having a wank, in front of the zebra cage, it's very off-putting to have seagulls flying down. Is it? No, when you're having a picnic... Why zebra? I don't know, it was just the first animal that came into my head. Okay. Um, <laughs> Do you know what? Once I went to Blackpool Zoo and spent a full 15 minutes watching a monkey having a wank. Okay. It was very fulfilling. I can believe it. There's didn't this like no it. phase of disbelief. <laughs> this is a, yeah, I can wasn't see overly that. keen when it made eye contact with me. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about a case of uh, basically mistaken identity-ish. Ish. Okay. Uh, you've bought plenty of things off the internet. Many things. Many things. Some ret reputable sites. Some not so reputable. Yes. Sites. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a story about a father who's livid. You see. When he found out that his um, six year old daughter that he's adopted. It turned, wasn't the one he wanted. Turned out to be 22. Oh. Um, that's very. Um, that's very. Um, what's that film? I don't know. The Orphan. Okay. Have you ever seen it? No, that's why I had no idea what you're talking about. So this family adopt this girl, uh -huh. thinking that she's a little girl. She's not. She's like a fully grown adult. Kind of does stuff. Just anyway, anyway, sorry. Kind of yeah. does stuff. She like like binds her bosoms mm -hmm. and has like fake teeth. She's very small in any way in stature. 
and she kills them all. OK, mm. yeah. Uh, well, this fellow was so disgusted that he abandoned her, right? So, so this, 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 this child person. here... Uh-huh. Is he, is he looking for her there? No, he's angry. Oh, he's angry? He's angry because this six-year-old is 22 and has scanned him. Why? Is, is, did she take that photograph of him being angry? No, somebody else did. So, right, OK, I need to know the full story now. Right, okay. so he adopted this child. Yeah, this, him and his wife adopted this child. Thinking she was a child. She was six. Of six? Yeah. How did they find out that she was 22? They basically, she was starting to act weirdly. So she had um, different mannerisms that they were expecting of an adult rather than a child. It's like drinking beer and smoking fags and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going, oh, Chris Hemsworth, I'd give him one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so basically they went, hmm, that's not right. We, we need to get her tested. So they tested how old she was, and the test came back and said she was 22. They go, how old are you? And she went, and this many. And, oh, no, <laughs> six. I mean, oh, um, Yeah, no, they, they tested. They had a, a, basically an age test done on her. OK. And they went, no, she's 22. It's like chop her, ha her arm off and then count the rings. rings. Yeah. 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 Um, and then staple the arm Staple it back on again. Yeah. Um, OK. Th that, that is a... That, uh, you know, it's a lot. It's right? a lot. So him and his wife with. went, no, nah, I'm leaving you, and just left her. Oh, well, well, she's 22. Old. Exactly. Right. Only to find out she was actually eight. They made oh. a mistake on the test. So he's now um, going, to pr uh, going to trial um, for abandonment of a minor. No. Oh. You see, she doesn't look like she could, you know, even if even if you kind of like there's people that have that condition that makes them look younger mm -hmm. than they are, she doesn't really look massively young. I mean, she still lied. Well, she didn't. That's the thing. They were wrong by two years. Okay. When, when they, when these, these, this obviously reputable company mm -hmm. tested her and said, no, she's 22, did they kind of like say, oh, well, she's got some sort of genetic condition or did they just say, no, she's 22, when clearly it's an eight-year-old child? <laughs> yeah. Um, they basically said, they did the test, they sent back the results and said she's 22. They went, right, that's it, you're 22, and leave, we're leaving you. Get stuffed. Angry, angry, angry. The side angry. of the road. Knowing that moved country, so they moved oh, to Canada. Oh. Okay. Got darker, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, left her alone, and then, like, the lab phone went... She's living in a house went, by herself? Um, uh, she's, 20, she's not 20, she's eight. I think she's Ooh. eight. Like, oh, heck. Did they go back? Yes. But by then she it was, was dead. too late. She's not dead. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> no, as in, they just... It was, authorities have been informed and oh. stuff, so... What a very dark story, Mike. It is, yeah. And if you've got something slightly scary to tell us, why not share with us at the Could TV on social media? And that brings us to our story of the week. I'm going in the cupboard, and oh I know how much God. you love me going in the something. cupboard. Would you like a lovely donut? No, not from you. Right, you pick one, and I will eat the one that you don't, and then you can see that they're valid. Well, you could, you can eat, you could jizz on both of them and eat your own jizz, and it wouldn't, you wouldn't be phased in the slightest. Do you think I'd waste jizz? I'll go, I'll go for that one. You're going for that one. Oh, okay. soft. Huh? Soft. They are soft. They're fresh donuts. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Hmm. It's just a donut. Yeah, but uh, there isn't anything happening until I know the story behind why yeah. we're eating a donut. This is about a man who's been fired mm. for eating donuts. After he's f***ed them. It is, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. Um, a story about a man who in uh, Waitrose have let go. Okay. Because he was going into the um, old old food bin mm -hmm. and eating the donuts. Mm hmm. There's mo clearly more to this story it than. There really isn't. Oh, okay. See, it's, 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 see? It's been sat for eating a donut while on shift. So the rule at Waitrose is if it's, um, if it's hit the use by date or best before date, they have to bin it. Mm -hmm. They used to have a rule where, you know, if you were staff, you could eat it, mm -hmm. right? And um, he's turned on to say, <laughs> why are you looking at me so suspicious? You're going to reveal something, aren't you? Like he's no. like shoving up his no. ass. <laughs> no, no, he was eating them. He was eating them. Right. I said that's a yum yum. That's not a donut. Yeah, it's Waitrose though, isn't it? Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Okay, fine. Don't eat that donut then. Eat a yum yum. I've not brought yum yums. I brought donuts. Um, but yeah, they changed the policy. And he turned around and said, well, it's, it's just wasting food. Okay. Right. I was feeling a bit low in sugar, so I ate one. From the bin. Pretty much from the bin. Um, so they've let him go because he was stealing. It's technically theft. Well, it technically is. Yeah. So I don't really have that much sympathy for him. No. Um, and was he walking around doing his job and eating donuts? Mm. He wasn't walking around. He stopped to grab a donut. Oh, okay. 
and then went on and did more of his work. You enjoy your donut? It's very nice. Yeah. Also turns out. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Nothing. That's Nothing. it. That's all from the buzz this week. I don't believe. I think there's more to this than meets the eye. Mm. Anyway, thank you for that. <laughs> it's a pleasure as always. I hope you enjoy the laxative. But coming up next, we've got Leah the Showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get all ready for the interesting showbiz with Lee. So, sex. Everybody oh. likes it, everybody needs it, everybody does it. Well, not everybody, but some people, some, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> celebrities. <laughs> celebrities. Some people do it with their partner. They do, some people do it by themselves. Yeah. Some people don't have sex and that's fine. That's perfectly fine too. Yeah. I don't understand that option. But. Well, you know. Um, Christina Aguilera, she likes to talk about sex. And is she? Yeah, is that oral? she does. Well, she just like, sings as well. Huh? Does that mean she's having oral? Talk about sex. Okay. Anyway, she's revealed mm -hmm. that her orgasms have changed as she's got older. They now smell of peach. <laughs> They're dirty. So that was funnier. Was not, it? No, not really. Uh, <laughs> now I've got so, it. so, so, she's forty-two now. Is what? It's worthy, mate. Oh. Yeah, she's forty-two now. Is Christina? Is she? Oh. Often, often, sort of referred to as the voice of a generation. Not by me. Uh, we've got, we've got some, some, some of her looks over the years of uh, of Christina. One of um, those looks like she's Katie Price. Uh, the what that pink one? That pink yeah, one makes yeah. me think Katie Price. Yeah. So she's currently in a relationship with masterclass executive Matthew Rutler. Ooh, um, I, I, Rutler. I wasn't. I was never aware of this gentleman. Um, but we've got a picture of them together, not having sex, just no. you know, being being husband and and and, and wife. Oh, um, that's cute. Yeah. So she has been talking about. She's having a candid interview about her sex life and how it has changed over the years. Okay. So she's also because coincidentally, because we think we've spoken about this before, she's established herself as a co-founder of a a brand of sexual wellness Dillies. implements. Dillies. Yes, Dillies. Yeah. Dillies um, it's called Playground. Okay. So basically, that is kind of like women for for, for the woman who is looking for more bliss in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she has dis she's so in this interview. She's kind of said that she has discovered new pleasure points on her body. She says, and I'm going to quote. Okay. I have gotten to know my vagina well over the last forty two years. Well, one would hope. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm just straight every look, morning. Look, anyway. Look, look, Whoa, what's that? Ah. Uh, um, <laughs> I goes in. I thought it went out. Oh. <laughs> Literally, there are pleasure points that keep opening up. As you get older. Now, that doesn't, that doesn't sound good. Um, well, it does sound very good if you... So there are some, I've, noticed that I've noticed there are four different places oh. that are from around my vagina that can give me pleasure. Okay, not like four different places. Like, not different places think, in the world. I go Fleetwood. Oh, that gets that, me off. Yeah, yeah. cream myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, on, on the, her actual vagina. Oh, okay. Mm. She didn't specify... Specify? She, doesn't, she wasn't specific on what parts. Okay. But she says she now prioritises her sex life as part of her overall well-being, which we should all do. I, mm. I've been doing that for years. And she said you, she's also given advice to people who can enjoy themselves even if they don't have a partner. Oh. She's teaching people how to wank. Well, yeah, kind of. She says, she says, she says, for those of you who don't have a partner, you can have your own date night to make a more pleasurable life for yourself. That's just diddling yourself. No, it's sad. While your tea's she, cooking in the I know what she's talking about there. There is the, the whole giving yourself some intimate time, right? More of a, a pleasure rather than a, a transactional activity. So it's like, like waking up in the morning and bashing one out. Yes. Right? It's like getting yourself, you know, having a glass of wine, putting some soft music on, then having a diddle. Okay. I get what she's talking about. Nice meal. I don't want a meal if you bought one, really. Well, afterwards. Oh, afterwards, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cream cake. Well, good for her and or her four... A cream pie. Her four-pointed vagina. For, no, no, no. Four pleasure-pointed. Not four-pointed. Could be. We don't know. <laughs> We've not seen the pictures. Could be an anomaly. Who knows? Anyway, let's... Big spiky vagina. That's what I think they look like. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to another celebrity who's talking about sex. Okay. Jojo Siwa. I like saying Jojo Siwa. Okay. Jojo Siwa. Anyway, so she's she has come out over the last couple of years... Big thing for her, fantastic. But she has, she has, I don't want to say this, opened up 
uh, on the impact <laughs> on the impact that fame has had on her dating life. Um, so she's like saying that she she hasn't really had the same experiences as teenagers of her own age right um have had so she was on she was on a, 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 a <laughs> what she say though she's missed out on being fingered in the back of someone's car literally that is exactly what she said <laughs> not, in that, not, in, not in those uncouth way <laughs> she, she, she was my spirit animal she, uh, so basically <laughs> she was on a podcast called we're having gay sex right. where she explained that through a kind of like a teenage year she couldn't really like, experiment like ordinary teenagers not celebrities did so she she says that she feels more mature than people her own age because when she was nine she was expected to work not you know not in a rudy doody way yeah. but kind of like the kind of stuff that she does so she says i'm in the mental space of a 29 year old we've got a picture of jojo siwa here so the kind of like the, that was when she was kind of like first mega famous with like the dancing and stuff that's when she just after she came out and that's with her current girlfriend Aww. which is cute is. um she said i'm very behind in the world of love because most people go to a freshman dance and they go with a date they go to homecoming with a different day and then they go to prom mm -hmm. and then they have a summer fling and then they have a hookup in their car in the school parking lot What's what you said? Getting fingered in the back. Getting fingered, that, yeah. and she's never had. She's, I've never had any of that, and I feel like a lot of times I'm an eighth grader in Loveland. Aww. Oh, poor Jojo. Um, so she went and talked about sex life and other experiences, and said, "Any time I'm away from the house is the only time I have sex, or in her yeah, own room, or in a hotel room." Because she said, I "Don't know," because she just don't feel like. I can in my own house. She's your own house girl. Flick that bean. Does she, does she live with her parents? I don't know if she has like a mum, like a momager that kind of, mm -hmm. but I don't, I think she's got a huge mansion somewhere. Oh, if you, mm. but she might be like, if you're screaming down at an empty house, it'll echo, won't it? Well, you don't know what she's, yeah. So plenty of podcasters have praised her saying, you know, it's relatable for many queer people. Mm -hmm. But so good for her. But don't, don't let it hold you back. You, what? I was going to say bash the bishop. That's not, that's not, no, that's, that's not it. That's, 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 what? Flick the bean. Flick the bean. Pull the padge. Pull? No. No. Don't want to pull. No. Push? I don't know. Stroke. Stroke. Play Stroke the, the Play the horny <laughs> Ugh. That's not a thought process. You that wasn't. I didn't think that <laughs> through. The banjo, I believe it's called. Is it called playing the banjo? Yeah, playing the horny banjo. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the last bit. I'm oh, going. Oh, stop <laughs> it! Turned out nice again. <laughs> Megan Trainer. <laughs> oh, I've come over for old George for me. <laughs> Megan Trainer. Uh -huh. This you'll like this story. Okay. So Megan Trainer, the singer. Yeah, she's all about the bass. She's all, all about the bass. Yeah. Um, she says that her husband's penis is so big that she often can't walk after sex. Okay. So, yeah, she's, she's, she's talking about her husband, Daryl right. Sabara, um, saying that he's so well endowed and that... Endowed. Her, endowed. <laughs> her, her, that he's so well endowed and her vagina is so tiny, so tiny, that he's often left unable to walk afterwards. Okay. So, again, she was on... So, so this, is, this is Megan with her husband. And look... It's ginger. I, He's, he is a ginger, and she has the Spectre. cutest ever ginger little child. Look at that. Oh, look cute. Little girl, cute. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think he's... We're getting, we're getting there, <laughs> all right. right? We're getting there. Let's just, just build... Like, oh, look, baby so she was, she, was, she was on another podcast, uh -huh. and she revealed that she's been diagnosed with a condition called vaginimus, which... <laughs> is that like danger mouth? <laughs> <laughs> or like a holiday season in the year, vaginimus. <laughs> it's a condition... <laughs> I've heard of both seasons, <laughs> but never where, vaginimus. Where the vaginal muscles, vaginimus. muscles, the vaginal muscles can make can go very tense and make sex uncomfortable. Okay. Um, so poppers. Upper. No, you just sniff them. Uh, why, I don't like it. Why does that word keep you coming out? That word. I don't know. Um, um, <laughs> she says, "I thought that every woman walking around was always in pain during sex." She described a stingy, burning sensation. Um, I was like, Doctor, what are you telling me that I could have to say and not feel any pain? So, yeah, so she, so she, so she said, my, my husband's a big boy. Um, I'm going to have to say that word again because that's what she said. My is broken, though. Okay. My is tiny. To the point where I'm like, is it all in? And he's like, just the tip. And I'm like, I can't do it anymore. How do I fix that? How can I stretch it? That's her talking, not me. Um, so yeah, she 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 has she has um, 
She's she, she's done exercises mm -hmm. to kind of make it bigger. Okay. Um, she she's so she's bigger a or wider or looser. I think a or bit, relaxed. Bit, bit both. She's she's went on to say she's tried every angle and found the one which works. Um, <laughs> she's going to be a star at sex. Well, she's she obviously has sex because she's got two children. She's got right. one child and she's pregnant. But did you know that her husband? We've got a picture of her husband. Did you know that he was a child actor? Really. We've got a picture of him when he was a child. He was in. He was in Spy Kids. Oh, he's he's aged well because he was an ugly child. He was an ugly, yeah. But he's got a. Massive, and now I've know he's got a massive cock. Now he's got a massive cock. cock. Yeah. So that's that's your Google search for this evening. What's his name? Um, it's called Daniel Sabara. Oh, I can't Google that. I can't spell that surname. Just put just Megan Trainor's big cock husband. I'll just have to search for big cocks and see what comes up. Ginger big cocks. But it was incidentally your, your, one of your names, isn't it? On um, this is my grinder profile. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the end of this week's saucy showbiz news. Wow. Well, word used a lot there, Lee. Um, so I just want to say a big shout out for Megan Trainer for highlighting that as a medical condition. I am very brave of her. Yes. Team being time. serious for a moment. Oh, were you being serious? Being serious. But stick around because um, coming up next, we've got our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud, and this way we're going to play Lazy Susan's Question Roulette, and this is for our very own super soaker, Lee. So, off you pop. Shh, shh. Uh, it's more of a... Shh, shh. Whatever. Yeah. Game of the Week. <laughs> so this one is where Lee's going to spin the Lazy Susan, ask one of four randomly selected questions. <laughs> off you pop, go on. It's a nervous laugh there, Mike. Yeah. Where will it stop? Nobody knows. Oh, it's in the middle. No, it's not. That's quite clearly home, that tune. Mm. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, OK. Right, so I've got to hum this and you've got to guess what it is. Yeah, or hum that tune as it's also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm <laughs> I only know that bit of the entire song. <laughs> and how much of that is that part of the chorus? That is the chorus. The chorus or yeah. part of the chorus? The, I think that is all that the chorus is, just that repeated over and over again. Do it again then. <laughs> It's a rapidly rap song. Right, now, the thing I'm thinking of, right, is Big and Chunky by Will I Am, but I know it's not that. What did you just say? The, the song Big and Chunky by Will I Am. How very dare you. It's a song called Big and Chunky by Will I Am. Don't keep saying it. <laughs> Don't keep saying the name Doesn't of the song. Doesn't make it any better. It's the name of the song. I like them big. I like them chunky. It's what I'm thinking when you're doing that thing, but you say it's na 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 that well-known hip-hop rap group, the Beastie Boys. They did rap. One of the other songs was, it's tricky, it's tricky, and then they rap. Tricky, 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 tricky. But that's not the song. It's tricky. I always used to sing it's dicky. Anyway, um, you got to fight for your right to party. It is. We got there in the end. We did after I was going via rap music. Well, they're not rapping it. No. That's singing. I don't know. I'm gonna spin it again. Oh god, it's that again. <laughs> you know, I did air quotes about randomly selected. <sighs> okay. Come on. 
I thought I had it then, but then I've changed my mind. Um, is it from the 80s? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Three seconds because you're singing it quite confidently. <laughs> um, you're not going. I only know like three seconds worth of it. <laughs> <laughs> you're having a good go. So if it's going to be something from the 80s, you know it well enough to be able to actually hum it. Very famous song, Mike. Yeah, but the problem is it's you humming it, so it makes it a bit difficult. I can do 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 it if that's better. It never would be. No. No. Um, I'm going to say Girls Just Want to Have Fun by Cindy Lauper. It is! Yeah. So it was, you did know it. Oh, the power of my humming did portray the song. Uh huh. Right, spinning it again. Rock and pop. That must be a rap music question, then, according to you. Okay, you you will you might know this. Oh. Justin Timberlake got his first UK number one single in two thousand and six with Brand what me a River. song? Brand me a River. Is that your first answer? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it's wrong. I don't want to know. Sexy back. Oh yeah. Who's bringing sexy back? Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not you... only have you not brought sexy back, you've made it hide in the back of someone's neck. Don't be so rude. You're very aggressive today. I'm not, I'm not on board with that. Not aggressive. Spinning it round. Oh. It's in the middle. Oh. What do you want, rock or pop or hum that tune? 90s. It's not one. That's not an option. Go, go with go with what your heart desires. Go with rock and pop, because you don't appreciate my voice. <laughs> <sighs> Which rock band has Steven Tyler as its lead singer? I choose Hum That Tune. No, you've got to answer that now. I can tell I can sing songs that they sung. Go on then. Do 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 it looks like a lady. Do 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 and I could stay awake. Just to hear you breathe. That's weird. Lie awake when you are sleeping. Sleeping. Do 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 do. Lie like far away and dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could sing this one. I only know of it. <laughs> no. Aerosmith. Yes. Don't wanna fall asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. It's weird watching somebody sleep, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very weird song. It's like mm. going, I'm going to watch you sleep. It's like that E17 one when it away. goes, I touch your face while when you, you are sleeping. Sleep. No, you don't. And hold your hand yes. to understand what's going on. I put my fingers in your Okay, Where we are? let's move on very quickly. Soundtracks. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Which musical movie starring Hugh Jackman... Showman. No, Great showman. I no. No, just let me finish before you blurt out. Which musical... <laughs> you sound movie... like my ex. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's always the band in my... Let me finish for once. <laughs> Which musical movie starring Hugh Jackman and Anne Hathaway was released in 2012? Great it, showman. It, huh? Great showman. No, she wasn't in it, and it wasn't the greatest show. And just stop saying that. Oh, it was it, oh, it was oh, a stage oh. show for donkey's years. The donkey's years. That everyone thinks is really good, but it's dull as dish ah, water. Now I know what you're talking about because you hate that musical. And I love that musical. It's lame as. Ugh, it is. Why do you like it? Huh? Why? Because that it's it's a good musical. It's not though. The the plot is a, a classic plot. It's dull. Which and the, the songs are about death and destruction and it's 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 a singing. throwing the monarchy. It's, oh, it's no. I just can't stand it. Right. And that's all I'm saying on the matter. <laughs> oh, soundtracks no, again. Soundtracks again. Oh, you probably won't know this. Okay. But I'm gonna, what is the name of the song that plays during the closing credits to The Breakfast Club? 
Eight to Don't front. you do 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 forget about me. How do you know don't, that? Don't, 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 don't. What? How do you know these things? One of my theme tunes. A theme tune for what? Huh? You know when you're walking, well, you won't. You know when you're having a one-night stand and you're doing the walk of shame, right? And it was a particularly good one, but oh, you, don't, okay. you weren't really that into them. You gave good, you gave good so I, You know that they enjoyed it, like, oh yeah, I really want to see you again. And you're like, yeah, yeah, blocking the number. Um, One of those moments. That's why I, I, that's my in the ear for. Don't oh, you, you're kind of bigging yourself up. Forget about me. Nobody has ever been in me so deep, that kind of thing. Well, the bottom, so it's, it's, oh. it's more like I didn't realise you could do that with that sort of tongue. But yeah. Let's move on. Let's, let's spin it, because I'm feeling a bit nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> Nauseous. <A> bit bilious. <laughs> 90s. Why is it whenever you say bilious, I instantly get Billy Elliot in my head? Billy Elliot. Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> With that. <laughs> Who had? It was Caribbean version of Billy Elliot. No, that was... The, no. Um, <laughs> oh, who did it? Who used to say it like that? Uh, Elton John. No. Billy Elliot. Who, do, who used to say it I like that? Know. What, what accent are you going for? That's my first It's question. Welsh. Billy Elliot. No, I don't know. Um, all right, who had a number one hit in 1999 with Genie in the Bottle? Oh, we've just spoke. Britney Spears. Who? Britney Spears. Don't be stupid, Mike. Don't, be, don't anger. Don't anger the homosexual population with your cleverness. Share. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not even going to. I'm not entering in this game with you because it's just facetious. Christina Aguilera, as well you know. <laughs> <laughs> so stick around, because coming up next we have Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Shooting the Cud. Now it's time as we brace ourselves for craft... But you here. Hi! Crafty Queens. Yeah, slight prob. The, you um, seem not to be in the Crafty Queens area. Uh, yeah. With your the, tabard. There's a slight problem. The um, Crafters Association of the UK uh -huh. have been in touch. Okay. And so that I and, and put a put a blanket ban on me doing anything that involves a glue gun. A glue gun. Okay. Bowls out of bowls. Okay. Glitter. Cease and desist. <sighs> Sorry. Told you you're pushing it. <laughs> The fun. Right, well, what are we going to do? Thumb wars? I don't want to touch you. Can we just say <laughs> that you wiped my mouth with a tissue earlier? I did. Did it spit on it, though? No. And it was to stop you looking like a cocaine addict because you had white powder all over your but face. But perhaps it was the look that I was going for. You touched me with your Threw thing. Through a tissue. I didn't, I didn't care for it. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, talk about things I didn't care for. Oh. Um, so we did go to a spa. We did go to a yeah. spa. Should what we, a coinky ding. Yeah, should, we, should we tell the people about going to the spa? Well, it wasn't a spa. Was it not? It was you a flotation. A flotation. A flotation emporium. <laughs> that sounds worse. No, it was nice. I mean, well. Sh shall, we, shall we watch it? Shall we see? Shall yes. we see? Hello, I'm inside my pod about to go into the floaty thing. So I've got to have a shower. You're not going to be seeing that. <laughs> and then, when I've had a shower, I've got ready. I'm coming in here and let me turn it around. Ooh. Oh, I actually can't really see very much. There. Sparkly lights. Very zen, very, yeah. Oh. Adina absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to go and prepare myself now. Full enema. And I'll let you know how it goes. Bye.
I'm just, um, I'm in water right now. I'll call you back in a bit. style um, getting Epsom songs in your eyes not the best um, but yeah not keen when the lights go out um, hence the lights still being on but mm, mm, it's an experience not sure if I repeat it though hmm what do Mike thought How did you find it? I have questions for you first. <laughs> yes. Were you naked? I was naked. Well, the, the swimming shorts were optional, weren't they? Always wear the swimming shorts. Why? Even if they say they're it's optional. Op why? What's the worst that could happen? I don't like the thought of people naked in that water before I got in there. I wasn't in your water. I know no, you I weren't in, in my water, water, but in general... There was a handsome gentleman that got out of yours first, though, because yeah. we met them afterwards. And... We, we did, yes. Yeah. And, mm. you know, I wouldn't mind it too much. So you were naked... Uh-huh, floating about. Did you flagellate yourself? I flagellate myself. In, the, in that water? No, I did not flagellate myself. What was that noise, then? That was what on was... your camera. That was not on my <laughs> it camera. It was on your camera. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Disgusting, I didn't do yeah. anything. Yeah, and then you're coming out saying you're flailing about like a whale. We all know what you're getting up to. Oh, I've just finished my first one. Are you going to be flashing about like a whale? Uh-huh. Okay. Dirt. Um, uh, would, you, would you repeat the experience? I, if someone else was paying you, I'd, I'd do it again. <laughs> it's, so it, it, it's a lot of time. It's an hour. Yes. With your own thoughts. Mm. And my thoughts that's, are not good at the best of but times. But that's the whole idea. It's just you... In tepid salt water with your own thoughts. That's the problem, though, because me and my thoughts were there all the time and I don't want more time with them. I did not appreciate the lights going out. I liked the lights going out. No. I did start to feel a bit drowsy, like I could sleep, but I'm a side sleeper, so instantly I'm like going, oh, I'm going to, oh no, I'll drown. <laughs> did you, did you um, feel like it was womb-like? I don't know. I can't remember what it was like in the womb. Well, just use your imagination. Do you think that's what it would be like inside the womb? There's a lot more space in it than it was inside the womb. I could stand up and stuff. Okay. So, you know, inside a womb, it's quite smaller. It's all proportions, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. 
So anything interesting happened once you'd been? You, no, you that was talking, fine. Because you were talking before you went in about, you know, having to have a bit of a rinse through. Yes. Yeah. Did you have a rinse through? I don't think we're going to share that on... Um, no, we're not. No. No. No, I don't think it's appropriate that, that we share. <laughs> Let's just say that Epsom salts can have a... Um, a laxative an, effect. An adverse effect on one's digestive system. Uh-huh. Not and that quickly. My advice, to, <laughs> my advice to the establishment would be... Forward people. Yes, and also let's have a turn a little bit closer. <laughs> like in the room. <laughs> I went before I went in. I didn't so need I, to I, before I, empty, I went in. I made in. sure I was empty. I was, I was, I was, I had had, had the movement before I'd left and <laughs> did not expect the need to come on me again. <laughs> but you made it to the toilet, so. No, I didn't. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I said that we would say you made it oh, to the toilet. Oh, no. <laughs> Can we just clarify to <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> you have to tell what happened there. <laughs> Can we rewind it? <laughs> we it can't back go in back in time. No, this bit. Rewind it. No, because the gallery know now. The secret's out. <laughs> you said it. I said she, she made it to the toilet. I mean, you said no. Okay. I wasn't particularly enjoying it. There was a lot of wind going on. Mm -hmm. well, she had a jacuzzi effect to the experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I kind of decided I'd had enough. Mm -hmm. And because I was getting out significantly earlier than the time, and I didn't want to get dressed and sit there because the girl would have thought I didn't like it. Because you didn't like it. Because I didn't really like it. Uh -huh. But as I was getting out, suddenly needed to go to the toilet. Like, urgent. Very urgent. I was in a pair of boxer shorts that were sodden. And the toilet is at the end of the corridor. Mm -hmm. I couldn't make it. So. So I shot in a plastic bag. <laughs> and took it home. <laughs> I didn't say I was proud of it. And that's why I said to everybody, oh, we planned it and said, but we'll say to people, you made it to the toilet and that's fine. You forgot about that, didn't you? Yeah. It's the best I could have done it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Lee. Totally welcome. <laughs> That's almost it for this week. Yeah. Remember to join us on our social media at The Good TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, YouTube and podcast providers. Just search for <laughs> it's in a plastic bag com. Or chewing the cud. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>